Hi there, and thanks for taking the time to watch this video. My name's Sue, and I am going to guide you through uh, benchmarks, really. And we're going to talk benchmarks, and we're going to talk why you might want to switch benchmarks and um, how you might do that. Uh, so um, it's going to be a, about 10 minutes of a video, so sorry about that. But I think it's really important, um, and I want to take my time and make sure that you're understanding um, everything and all the implications. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with kind of taking you through what a benchmark is. So let's start there. Right then. So basically, a benchmark is, is kind of our terminology for the analysis sitting in our platforms, Connect and Summit. Uh, we take usually the national data set, crunch it down, um, and then use it to make, uh, frankly, those thermometers and all the indicators that you've got inside your platforms. And so... Um, all of the Alps grading and all of these um, indicators are the, the benchmarks. When you submit data to us, we crunch your data and we basically plot it against that national data set. And for as long as I've been using Alps, uh, we have always used the um, Alps data set from the national. So what happened then uh, over the last few years uh, was we ended up with very unique situations, didn't we, in terms of the pandemic and where it left us. And so last summer, uh, the 2022 situation um, pushed us into making a client benchmark, really. What does that mean? Still a large benchmark. Um, it's basically all of the data that was submitted to us by yourselves, by schools and colleges across England. And so last year, we built a benchmark, crunched it in the same way as the national, came out with thermometers, et cetera, and we did that from your data. Um, it is a subset of the, of the national data, and there are gaps. So there were some languages that we couldn't build uh, benchmarks for, for example. But we did that for A-Level England and Key Stage 4 England. Now, here we find ourselves in 2023, and again, we're in another unique situation. So... Um, we are going to provide these benchmarks again from client data. So get your results to us quickly, please. And we, you know, to be included and, and make sure that we can crunch as much data as possible. Um, just looking at that graph, it's not to scale. Apologies for the crudity of my uh, little um, infographic there. But um, in 2023, then you have a set of students coming in on tags, um, which are elevated. And then their results are going to go back to 2019 standards. So look at what's happening to that value added line. Maybe not quite that drastic, but uh, it's shortening. Um, and so we have to take that into account when we're analyzing results on results day. So approach with caution. Wales too, you have got a unique context, probably similar to 2022 um, diagram there, where you've got elevated CDGs, but elevated standards, but again, a unique situation. Um, and so there's your timeline. That's what we're going to do and release into Connect. Uh, A-Level England will be 28th of August and incrementally after that, ending up with Wales mid-September. So that's when you can expect to see your benchmarks. OK, so what I'm going to talk to you about in the second half of this video is um, the so what? How, how do I see them? What, what, what can I do inside Connect? I'm going to go into Connect and Summit in a moment, but before I do, I'm just, I just want to absolutely highlight that there are two tools. There's an account benchmark selector, and what it does is it allows an admin user to select across the whole of your Summit or Connect account the benchmark of choice, and you can choose between the client and the national. The default will always be the national, but you can choose to switch permanently to the uh, client benchmark. I say permanently, you can switch it back, but in switching it, you turn it on for everyone. Or you can use a session benchmark toggle that allows individual users to toggle their benchmark between the two, but only for the duration of that session. So when they log out and log in, then it resets itself to whatever benchmark is selected across the account. So. I'm going to hammer that home a couple more times, but before I do, we're going to jump into um, Connect and Summit and have a look at it in situ.
Okay, here is my Connect homepage. Before I start, um, for those of you who don't know what Summit is, it's just the um, Matt or LA or group uh, platform that sits on top of Connect. So don't worry if you don't have access to Summit, you possibly um, won't ever see it. Um, okay, so here's my Connect homepage. First of all, I'm going to show you where you can find these things. Okay, so in Connect, you're going to Analysis Settings, and then you'll see two new um, pages here. So if I just click on benchmark selector, this is your account benchmark selector. I You will only see this if you're an admin user, all right? And this is going to help, uh, basically, um, it's going to allow me to change my benchmark across the platform. Um, I'm gonna signpost this in Summit for those of you who are following along in Summit. So here's my Summit homepage, benchmark setup, and bingo, you've got your two um, pages here. Now, these pages are identical. So let me just stay here to save me switching screens and confusing you. Um, so identical pages, and um, let, let me take you through it. So the account benchmark selector allows you to select a benchmark across the whole of your account permanently. In other words, if users log out and log in again, it'll stick with whatever you've selected, okay? So I would urge you, please, 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 before you make any changes down here, where you're gonna drop down and you're gonna select your national or your client, before you do that, I would urge you to watch or, well, watch, there are videos in these articles, but there are articles that I've written to uh, supplement this uh, video. Please watch those because they're really important. And as a senior leadership team, um, uh, there are decisions for you to make. Let's assume you've done that. Let's assume you're saying, yeah, we're going to switch my benchmarks. I'm going to choose the app school benchmark. You click save. A pop-up will appear that say, you're sure you want to do this? Yes, please. And then what your users will see when they log in is they'll get a context up here in their lozenge that says client or national. So it'll be very clear on what they're using. So that's the account benchmark selector. It's permanent. It's for all users. The toggle. Again, just discard that. The toggle. Again, this is the same as the connect uh, page, okay? So the toggle can be used in supplemental to the uh, account selector, uh, or it can be used in isolation. But basically what this is allowing you to do is again, switch your benchmark. So I can switch between the two. That's the same articles, by the way. So I still need to understand those but I will be able to switch for the duration of my session. In other words, if I log off and log back in again, it's set back, the benchmark is set back to whatever that selector has chosen, okay? So if I'm default on national, if I change my benchmark in a session, I log out, I log back in again, it's reset itself to national and vice versa, all right? So um, if you want to give people access to this, Summit, users you all have it auto automatically but uh, in connect you will have to um, gift <laughs> this to uh, a user so you that's deliberate by the way because you might feel that you don't want to gift it to everyone because it's confusing and you want to control that a bit more um, but you might want your senior leadership team or your middle leaders to have that so if i could just nip back into connect for a minute um, and you're going to manage users edit the user, this is me, and I scroll down and there's my little switch to switch my benchmark. So if that's activated for me, I log out, log back in again, and, and then I've got that page that you saw um, a moment ago and I can switch my benchmarks to my heart's content, but I need to understand what I'm doing. So what I would recommend is read those articles and then talk to your staff if you're going to use it. Uh, those articles, by the way, are either accessible from those pages or if you click through, sorry, I'm jumping, support hub here, click through to our knowledge base. They are in the educational update section. All right. They will appear here uh, once I publish them a bit nearer to results day. If you've got any questions, please email us or call us or use our live chat. Um, and we will get back to you and support you with that, okay? Uh, good luck in the summer, and I hope you find this helpful. Thanks very much now.